Yo, what's going on, dudes and dudettes? Welcome back to all the mods 8 hardcore. For a second, I thought the when this flashed red, the ME controller was off. But guys, last episode, we set up... Uh, that's not it. We set up this room that I've done more on. We set these guys up here. Uh, the ultimate enriching factories and infusing factories. So now we can automate the alloys of each of these and it's been working really well it's allowed me to make these guys over here which are loud holy cow look at that who needs a muffling upgrade when you can just turn off the noises but yeah so i just have some exporters up here pushing out the gold and the iron and then down here we have the ultimate smelting factories and these are all maxed out on speed and energy upgrade so we're using 1.8 thousand fe per tick per one of these which is plenty um we're not even getting close to maxing our system and then i also went ahead and added this too these are crushing factories uh, and these will just help us uh speed up the process of crushing down things and speaking of which um i think we should set that up for the fluix dust like the the dust um, that we need. So let's see here. All right, here. So fluix dust can be put into a crusher. So we're going to do three of these. And because the crusher is so crushy, um, it we have so many of these that we can do. Okay, let's find those crushers here. There they are. One, a two, a three, one, two, and a three. So yeah, now those are in there. Each one of those can process those up. And then I've also been doing some work up here at the top. As you can see, I'm putting in more crafting units here. I don't think I'm gonna, I, I'm still figuring this out because um, I wanna have more crafting storage and the uh, stupid Lumius glass is pissing me off. <laughs> but anywho, we're up to 3,311 levels. This is really just like a update on where we're at in the world. And then check this out. I went ahead and sealed this guy completely off, uh, which is pretty neat. Um, so we're gonna do that on all sides there. And then once we do this, uh, I'm going to like build the base out and then we're gonna enclose it like this. And then we can focus on making the outside of this look good. But yeah, I really am liking the look of this, but I do think we need something over here. So we might find a way to, to put those in. But anywho, let's get into what we wanna do today. And only three minutes into the video, we wanna get into the apothesis stuff. I wanna see what kind of hearts we can get on our system here. Um, so we're gonna need a reforging table. Uh, we're gonna need a salvaging table, but, uh, oh, Apothesis gem, okay. So let's see here, we got quite a few gems. Um, we have, yes, we have four. Lightning gem, I don't think we need that. So let's get an anvil. Yes, anvil. Oh, wait. Okay, so let's turn off our cool magnet and we're gonna throw these into the corner. And then we do this. Yes. Got ourselves some gem dust. Very cool. Back to Apothesis. All right, so let's see here. Reforging table. We need to make an enchantment. Enchantment. There's an M in there now. Enchanting table. And then a salvaging table, and we need a smithing table, which is fine. Right wood. I need to set up automatic wood production. Okay. Very good. So now we have these two guys. What is your role? Who is your daddy, and what does he do? So reforge. Um, okay, so I believe we have a lot of this. Let's look up some helmets here. Yes. Let's grab a helmet that we don't really care about. Uh, yeah, that one's fine. So we put this here. We got four mythic. 
Now, what are you used for? Rarity materials are optimum teams, and this is... Okay. Is there a book that I can look up? Oh, there is. There is a book. I will, I will grab such book, and we will read it together like it is time to party. Okay. Chanting module, garden, potion, spawner, village. Huh. Aha, gems. Perfect. Let me read over this real quick. Okay, so I did a little bit of reading, and I've uh, come to a conclusion that this is going to be lit. So check this out. Pl All we're looking for is health, really. Um, so when attacked, we get instant health, uh, and then we also get resistance. Um, so yeah, we'll take this, and this should give us more hearts. Yep. Okay, so can we do it with this guy what does that mean 20 oh 25 levels that's it sorry i don't need 3,000 levels okay now knowing that that was levels oh oh i see this is seasoning <laughs> the gem dust okay so i need to get some gems and we got a lot <clears throat> so we should be able to turn these into dust so let's throw all these in here okay 24 so now no okay let's see we need helmets you you uh and nope you're not you're purple we need the yellow yeah, we'll take that. Okay, so throwing these in gives us eight. So those go in, booyah, okay. So this gives us, we need more health. You're not giving us health. Max health, 11. All right, we'll do it. All right. A little bit of lag going on but we have ascended into crazy hearts right now all right now time for you let's see it gives us 14.4 wait that was 14.5 max health gives us total speed total speed we'll do this one again all right more health how do you spawn? I have a necklace on that says you can't spawn. Anti-soliciting charm prevents within six chunks. You spawn within six blocks of me. You are terrible. Don't, what are you doing? Don't meow in my ear. I have cats for that. Give me that ax you have. I want another one. Die. Okay, sorry, I got a little feisty there. Okay, so now we are up to ludicrous health. And we're gonna finish it off with our boots. Um, so max health plus 11, plus nine, plus 13. Yeah, that's what we would like to see. Oh my gosh. Does anybody have any idea how many hearts that is? They're, they're light blue. We're running out of colors. This is getting crazy. Let's put this in. Can I put that in there? No, I can't. Okay, so our armor is now crazy. So we get instant health, instant health, explosive damage taken, magic damage taken, reduced, ignores 50% of durability, uh, fire damage taken, when attacked, we get resistance for that. <clears throat> so we get instant health from two things in our... Oh, wow. That's... That's awesome. Can we, oh, we can put the Morgan in here? Okay. Um, do your attacks deal eight damage to nearby enemies on hit a knowledge socket? Okay. Slain enemies have a 4% chance to be loot pinata. Attacks deal eight damage socketed. Okay, so let's see here. Cold damage, fire damage is up. 
base life steal. Attack range goes up with this guy. Oh man. Okay. So let's grab some more of these. We don't need you. We actually don't need any of these. Oh, we don't need the purple one. We need to throw that one away. Okay, these can go in there. Now we have 10 of these, cool. Okay, so the Morgan here. Mob drops will teleport to you. That's pretty cool. Um, 211 tack damage. So it is going up higher because now, oh man, we're doing that. That's the, what about the pickaxe? Haste 2. This tool can place torch at the cost of 6 durability. This tool breaks a 5x5 five five area. Wow. What about this one? 5x5. Five five. This one doesn't do it. Okay, so 3 durability. This tool has netherite effectiveness against all blocks. So plus 175% base experience, plus 35% base mining speed. Then we get two, we're gonna do that one. All right, what about you? Um, Shredding Axe of the Minotaur. Giant slaying all the modium axe of the caustic realm. Oh my gosh. This just gives us attack damage. It's not really like, we want tools. Okay. So five by five area, six durability, three reach distance, plus 38% mining speed. Um, five by three, five by three, five by five. I don't really like those rolls, so we're not gonna do that. But yeah, telepathic, all the modium pickaxe of the singularity. That's not a crazy name or anything. Oh my gosh, that's actually kind of cool. Okay, so now our Morgan does stupid damage. The telepathic Morgan of the ancient library. <laughs> that is such a silly name, holy cow. But it does 211 attack damage. That's pretty good. <clears throat> that does a lot of damage. Holy cow. <laughs> okay, so... I this is our goal for the series here is to get an all the modium star and all of the uh, all the modium are the creative items. That's where we will determine, hey, like that's that's the end of the mod pack. Um, so like creative spell book, creative everlasting guilty pool. Uh, these are all that like ones we're going to be doing uh, a creative motor. We are going to have to get into create here pretty soon. Creative blaze cake. So we're going to need not only one all the modium star but we're gonna need quite a few uh, my goal is to make every single creative item that we can so yes uh, it doesn't end at the trophy it ends when i say it ends so we're gonna need to get into pneumatic craft as well to get the creative compressor and then we're also gonna get the creative generator for create we're technically gonna get this guy from uh, refined storage even though we don't have that we're going to get the creative energy cell for applied energistics and the creative cell from power uh, the creative energy cube from mechanism and the creative energy battery from integrated dynamics so <clears throat> over the next couple of episodes we're going to probably be getting into mechanisms so that we can craft the all the modium star because this is what we need to set up so i believe yeah there's 55 and we're going to set them up like this so yeah we're just going to be Figure in this stuff out. Uh, we do have a, quite a few of the piglitches. Let me see. Oof. Um, yeah, that's that's tough. We gotta kill these guys, piglitches. Affected by looting. I wonder if you if I killed enough of these, if if a egg would spawn in. Do I have one? Piglitch? No, I don't have one yet. But I can go ahead and try to farm for one. We have plenty of hearts and a good sword and we should be able to do it. So I just checked here. A piglitch charm, two of them with an egg, gives you a chicken spawn egg. Um, yeah, so I don't think we can... You can get one. Piglin brute, piglin, piglin brute zombified piglin yeah so i think we have to f 
just kind of roll with it. Um, <clears throat> one thing though, is I have seen a couple of people set up farms for these guys. Cause we need, we're going to need a lot. <clears throat> um, whoops, because yeah, we need one per ingot of unobtainium in this that we're fusing. And then we can also with the enchanting with ours naval, we can upgrade our tools and then they will pretty much be maxed out um the aldemodium alloy paxel uh, will be essentially maxed out um yeah i don't think there's anything above this so other than the paxel but yeah that's another goal we have um i think what i want to go ahead and do for the rest of the episode is try to set up the wither farm again and i want to see if the wither builder is still broken in the pocket dimension where's my soul sand there it is okay so this is where oh i don't have my game boy on me where are you at there you are this is where our guy is well i have to click it with an empty hand come on that's a little ridiculous cool so, I tried this once before, but if we set this guy up, the working area is here. If we do that, and give it... Come on. Oh my gosh, what is going on? Please, help me. Okay. Yeah, it does not build it in here. Is there a reason for this? Hmm. Which is a bummer because I really wanted to set it up in here. We can, you can spawn withers in here. I wonder, I've got this little like thing that's a warding charm. I wonder if that works for withers. Nope, you still get withered. Okay, yeah, they can definitely still spawn in here. I'm not taking any effects from being withered. Interesting. Okay. That's something I didn't know that would happen. So the thing we gotta worry about is the withers explode. <laughs> and that breaks things all the time. So I'm thinking, I'm thinking that we use the portal system again. Um, I do have a source jar that's 100% full. We've got some of this. We need to make a warp um, scroll, which we can. So we can easily make it. Um, then we have the mob crusher here. Okay, so this is solving a couple problems. Range add on, we'll do this guy. Um, yeah, so here we are with those. We have power. So I was thinking about potentially doing a factory block placers. Um, we could also do oops, the industrial foregoing ones. Huh, okay, let's get a couple of these. Let's try. Let's try this. We need one, two, three. We need seven total. Okay. So, hang on, one second. Okay, so we're gonna need to set up the killing chamber. Um, so I also believe there's a way to change our spawn location in here that we'll work on in a little bit, but we're gonna make the, the killing chamber. So the reinforced deep slate, uh, this is all wither proof, so we don't need to worry about it. Um, so we can do this. We're gonna do that. Okay. And then, oh, frick, I shouldn't have built with this block. I can't break it. 
Um, whoops. Okay, well. Cats are going crazy. That's okay. They're cats. They do that. So we're going to leave the top off for now, and then we'll set the warp location. And then the build, where we build the, the withers will be over here. And there'll be one. Okay. So this... This will be, we'll toss it in here and they will be built here. Oh, how am I going to place these guys um, like this, right? Why do I keep built? Oh my gosh. I need the block breaker thing. Is this it? Changer, key changer, universal block remover. Okay. I goofed. I done goofed. Okay. So now we can break this. go <laughs> this is the most difficult way I could have thought of to place these okay so cool uh oh frick I just thought of another thing we need to be able to get behind here for pipes okay we're moving this moving that so this will be one block from the wall Now everything becomes far easier. There we go. Good, now we have blocks. So we'll set up some things. Uh, we're gonna also guide the wither in here. Good. Okay, so that is set up. We're gonna put the source here. Now, because there's no killing yet, we should be able to just take this and throw it. And sh boom, we get teleported over here, perfect, okay. So, theoretically, we should be ready to rock. Wait, do these guys require power? Oh, well, I should have maybe thought about that before. Hmm, they do require power. I wanted it to run with a redstone signal. Okay, maybe not my wisest moment. Okay, so we want these. Oh, we want it to run on pulse. So we just have to pulse these. There we go, okay. So those are set up, we need to put, well, how are we gonna run them? Hmm. How do we get a red portal stone pulse to these guys with pipes on the back? Ah, I need Ender IO! Okay, so this setup might 
work. Um, yeah, so these are going to place them downward, and then these are going to place them on here. I I really don't know. <laughs> We're going to have to, to see. Hmm. Okay, so we're using the factory block placers from Engineers Decor. Um, and I've got most of these set up here. So we need to place this. I've got these guys set up. Let's go ahead and make sure the wither can't escape out of here. All right, so he'll be trapped in there no matter what. I've sealed off all of the sides except in here. I got to do this and this and now with this if i place a soul sand here it should be built okay maybe maybe the issue is the timing i think the head no Okay, let's try building it like this. Okay, so I, I believe it may be due to the, the edges connecting. Um, Okay, so my next try is we're gonna move these top block placers to the very top. So right here, where these guys are. Um, we can do this. So here, here, and here. are all good so now if we do this this no not it's not because it's connecting to the portal is it Okay, so these have been moved up. Nothing. Huh. Okay, now crazy thing. What if we were to get the block placers and do these instead. Um, one, two, three. I need to make a flux point.
Okay, so we've got these hooked up here. All we gotta do is this. And they're not even placing the block. Man, this is difficult. They've made it really tough to automate this here. I wish I could just do the wither builder. That'd be so easy. Okay, maybe, maybe it has to be like this, you know? Huh. Huh. Oh, I don't want that. <laughs> hmm, I don't think these work. Okay. Hmm, I am at a complete loss here. Um, the block placers aren't even placing blocks. Is there something I need to add into this? It's just, that's weird. Black placer. Okay, so it's not even working in the overworld without power. Let's grab a flux point. Does it just require power? No. It is straight up not even working. Uh, do I have a range add-on that I can put in here? Yeah, we can put this guy. No, this guy. Oh. Yeah, I don't think the block placer is working. Hmm. Okay. Well, if you guys have any suggestions on how to get the Wither Farm working again in the Pocket Dimension, please let me know down below. I'd love to hear. But anyways, guys, that's all the time I have for today. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. Take care. Peace out. Bye-bye.